Hello everyone, welcome. Look at this view. We are having a lunch in Villefranche. Isn't it beautiful? I think the great weather is following me wherever I go. And look, here it is. Hey, hey, how's it? How's it? And I have someone new I want to introduce you to. Hello. This is my friend Tess. Hi. Tess lives, where do you live? In Mujan now. Mujan, close to Cannes. Yes, above yes. Cannes. Yes, she's taken us all around today. We went to Nice this morning. Look at this fresh tuna that just arrived to our table. Doesn't that look Coconut beautiful? Coconut milk. Coconut milk, what else? Lime? Uh, some kind of basil, basil maybe? Eh. I'm not sure. Whatever it is, it know. looks delicious. And we have this beautiful glass of Chablis. You can see the bottle down here. Ah, look how pretty that is. I know. But I just cannot get over how beautiful this day is, look at this little fishing boat. boat. Fishing boat. Let me just scroll around. Hi, Karen. Hey, everybody. And I guess I can. Hello. I know it's so, so beautiful. And uh, we are going to. What did you order? Uh, gambas, uh, prawns. Oh, prawns. I got the. What did I order? Oh, the sole. And then Glenn ordered sea bass. sea bass. Yeah, so I'm like, we're by the ocean. Um, we might as well enjoy some of this fresh local seafood. I know I do travel to the coolest places, but you know what makes a place exceptionally cool is when you get to travel and visit friends like this. I think it just makes um, travel so much better. It wouldn't be the same if we weren't with friends. So that's uh, the lesson in that. It's who you're with, not where you are. Yeah. Oh. You're getting some bonjours. Bonjour. <laughs> Everybody loves Glenn. <laughs> Great shades. Hi to Glenn. Everything looks amazing. Oh, hey, Cheryl. Yes, and then I get to go back this afternoon and have our first Slim She Can Savvy call. So I'm so looking forward to seeing all of you on the call a little bit later. But look at this. Look at the buildings. Aren't they just... Aren't they beautiful? How did you meet your friend? Oh, how did we meet? Uh, Through her father. Yeah. Um, in Monaco probably six or seven years oh, ago. More, I think. Was it longer than uh, that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and so Tess actually came and lived with me in Durango mm -hmm. for, how long were you there? A year. A year, and she loves Durango. Mm -hmm. Guess what her favorite store is? Walmart. Uh, Walmart. <laughs> she <laughs> loves Walmart. <laughs> and, uh, and so she's back in the south of France now. She's met a wonderful gentleman, mm -hmm. and she's enjoying life here, but she still, she loves the States. So her dad is um, American, her mother is French, and your dad came over, what, 23 years ago? 24 years 30, ago? Yeah, 25, 30 years ago. Yeah, so he's been living here ever since. So she's actually half American, but born and raised in France. Does she speak? Speak what? She's speaking right now. <laughs> yes, I speak French and English. Yes, she's bilingual. Speak, I don't know what that is. No. no. Susan and Rachel turned me on to Periscope. I know, it's such a fun way to connect for sure. But our food is about to come to the table, so I'm going to sign off and I'm going to give you one last look around the port here in Villefranche. When am I coming back to New York City soon? My BFF lives there, so I'll definitely be back soon. Um, we're in Villefranche. It's, how far are we from Monaco? Like 10 minutes from Monaco. We're about 10 minutes from Monaco. It's this beautiful little fishing port yeah. in the south of France. I know. And I cannot tell you how beautiful. The temperature is probably 72 and just absolutely perfect. I'm in heaven right now. I'm in heaven. Okay, everyone. Have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.